around 10 degrees and as the day goes by it's warming up late afternoon it's around 20 degrees and it's a beautiful beautiful place we just witnessed immense uh, doubles between Di Xinjiang and Wang Chang from China against Kogan Saito of Japan and that was a very very straightforward win for the two Japanese players and the next match up is a women's singles Tetard Tusa of Myanmar against Paiu Po, a very, very experienced player from Chinese Taipei. So Paiu Po, she played the first singles in the Yupacop team in October in Aarhus in the absence of uh, Tai Su Ying. First player on to court is the player from Myanmar, Tet Tan Tusa, who qualified for the Olympics. She had her Olympic debut in Tokyo in uh, late July this year. Actually a very smart player with a good net play, but perhaps lacks a little bit of pace in her game. Against the very, very experienced player from Chinese Taipei. And as you can see, there is no previous hit to hit between these two players. So, you think? Okay. So the player from uh, Myanmar, Joe Zenz. Whether that has really any impact on this match, I'm quite doubtful. Tetan Tusa is educated a uh, business administrator and her father is actually a four-time former national champion back in Myanmar and uh, she is doing her training 50-50 between uh, back home in Myanmar and then in Malaysia where she's actually been trained by a former world or oh, Malaysian number one in Yu Hak. She was born in Yangon and she's 22 years of age and presently number 77 on the world ranking and that's based on 18 tournaments. She spent one week as number 57, and that was on the 17th of March, 2020. Got very nice technique, and so her opponent as well, definitely a very strong player from Chinese Taipei, Pai Yupo, 30 years of age, extremely experienced. She is presently number 38 on the world ranking, and that's based on 25 tournaments. Spent 10 weeks as number 20, and that was back in 2018, and it's over three different spells. Did not qualify for the Olympics, as Tai Su Ying from Chinese Taipei, of course, qualified. And that means that she had to be in the top 16. And as we can see, her world ranking at the moment is 35, or sorry, 38. Ready to play? And the court officials are ready, and players are asked to get ready to play. Payupo won the Russian Open, the Super 100 tournament in 2019. And it's actually the fifth time that she's competing at the World Championship. The best results she's had was back in 2015 where she reached the third round, the last 16. Otherwise, the three other times it's been either first or second round defeats.
at uh, Toussaint from Myanmar. She qualified for the Olympics as number 29. And uh, that was based on 15 tournaments in that qualification period. And I know for a fact, having spoken to her coach, Ong Yu Hock, that she was extremely proud to Three. represent her country at the Olympics. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, State Fire Tuzar, Myanmar. And on my left, Pai Yupo, Chinese Taipei. Pai Yupo to serve, love all, play. Just wide of that sideline. It's unlucky Two, for Teta. Payupo is a rather tall athlete in badminton terms. She's 173 centimetres. And that's wide. Service over. One, two. So Pai Yupo was the leading Service women's over. singles player from Three, uh, Chinese one. Taipei when uh, the team played at the Sudirma Cup in Finland in uh, late September and of course later on at the Yupa Cup in Denmark in October. skills from Payupo. Four, one. Lovely touch, really nice touch from Teta. Love that spinning net shot on the backhand side. And that's wide, that's bad luck. It's a good shot. with the idea. Yeah, by Pai Yupo. I like the Three, fact that six. she wanted to play a good counter-attacking shot. However, the shot from uh, Tekta just managed to drop below that tape, which meant it was a very tough shot to play. Call out. Could have been a worth a challenge, I think, but uh, perhaps it was definitely out. It's, never mind, it's still too late already. 7-3 for Payupo. And that's long on the back line for sure. Well left. Service over. Tetar Tucson.
And this time there was a really good and nice opportunity to play that spinning net shot of the net again. However, the touch let her down a bit. But it was actually a fairly good opportunity. Tusa lost her two matches at the Olympics in her group. She lost to Liliana Tan of Belgium and Gregoria Maris Katungjun of Indonesia, both these two matches in two straight games. And uh, I was actually calling one of those two matches. And I personally think that the pace and the movement around the court from uh, Tekta is much, much better than it was those four months ago in uh, Tokyo. Definitely improved on her speed around the court. wide. Service over. 10-6. Yeah, once again the touch letting Tetart down. Interval. Which means that Pai Yupo from Chinese Taipei goes into the mid-game interval with a lead of 11-6 in just seven minutes of play. Turn of serve from Tetar Tusa. Good straight smash. Service over Decision. Yeah, it's very costly. 13, seven. From the 22 year old from Myanmar. Yeah, look at that. And at the very last second, decided to play the shot anyway. Good coverage here from Paiupo. Service 
is over 8 13. Placement. Nine, Closing the gap to four points. Good pressure on that attack and clear. And it made Payupo hesitate. And that's what matters. Beautiful block shot. Very nicely played from the back of the court from Teta. Not an easy shot to play. Try to have a look at this one. Just click the top of the tape and then coming over. That's perfection. Good reply from Payupo. Service over. 14 10. going wide of the sideline the attacking clear down 15, the line however 10. I feel was a very good choice but of course have to keep it in Definitely over, going down 17, as a, an unforced error. And this time it's really coming over very nicely, that spinning net shot. Service over, 12, 17. Having missed two previously. From a similar situation, it was utmost important for Tetan to make sure that that one was going over. Uh, look at that. That was a wild shot. 13, 17. Line. Kind of suspect Service there over. is a, a small drift 15, 13. alongside the court, and Tekta is actually standing on the fast end of the court. Oh, that's really good play from Payupo. 19. Great attacking shot straight down the line from her around a hit situation. Look at this one with a little bit of slice to it. That's perfection. Good play. Two points away from taking the opening game. 19 13.
Game point has arrived. 20. Game point. Game point. 13. In favour of Pai Yupo. Chinese Taipei. The very, very experienced 30 year old player. again beautiful spinning that shot 20. <laughs> call out 15 20. Two game points saved so far. I think that's out. Call out by the line judge. Both players accepting it. Twenty-one fifteen. Which means that the opening game goes to Pai Yupo. 21-15 in 16 minutes of play. Seconds. 20 seconds called, which means that the two players are invited back on court. A great performance, I think, from uh, Tepta Tusa of Second Myanmar game. in the opening game. Lawal. Much improvement from her performance at, from the Olympics. wide and yeah, she's unhappy very understandable Tecta body language
this is a very very good rally and uh, really forcing the arrow Teta from uh, Payupo great pressure into the deep forehand corner of Payupo that really paid off great play from it Teta Tusa And yet again, proof of good net play from uh, Tekta. Not an easy shot to play on the forehand side, but she did it to perfection. Keeping a lot of the shots low from Met Teta. This time it was Show going wide of the sideline. Three, four. I think she's actually playing shots like that, keeping it down and down and down due to the fact that she's a little bit scared of the very good smash from her opponent, Payupo. A very good attacking shot, Payupo, as soon as she's getting that opportunity. right in the corner i was just about saying she should have done more with that one but that was right in the corner this one here but i think she forgot to follow up and really make it count great shot from payupo showing some of her great skills four five Be careful, she's not Five, getting a little four. bit too over eager. It was a good option to Six, play the block shot of the net. I also think she had a great chance of making a more decisive kill. Mistakes are creeping into the game of Teta Toussaint. Eight, five. Got to start cutting down on them. And when I mentioned her coach, Ong Yu Hock, that was definitely not Ong Yu Hock sitting behind the court. So I suspect it's uh, training back home 50 50 in Myanmar and uh, of course in uh, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia.
nine, five. Service over, six, nine. Cross at the net, and that's a decisive finish from Payupo. I really like to see that. Good anticipation, good follow up, closing the net down very nicely. Standing there waiting for it. Still, very good attempt from Tetar, but just all in vain. Left, it's wide. Service over seven ten. Ah, that's a nice smash. Service which over takes a pie you go into the mid game interval with a lead of eleven seven. It's a very, very strong smash after 10 minutes of play. Commanding lead. And it's all about for Teta to have a good start here after the interval. Otherwise, I think it's going to be one-way traffic. Court one, 20 seconds. Court one, 20 seconds. Coach return to chair. Pose taking their time to get ready, getting back onto court. 11, 7, play. playing herself out of trouble really well in that backhand corner but that one was a wild one over. should have played with a little bit more patience well, good pressure from her opponent at time for Myanmar That's a really well worked rally there from Tetar Tusa. Really played with a lot of patience, good quality in her shots. And look at that finishing one. Right at the side of the court. Perfect quality. Babington here from Tetar Tusa. And that's wide. It's 
so it's just a point in it now between the two players. And I said she needed a good start after the interval. And she's taking the first three points. Tetan Tusa. Tetan Tusa. Make that four. Eleven off. It means a lot to Payupo. And that's that's a big miss. Thirteen eleven. Done so well to catch up from seven eleven down to eleven all. Bad luck, long of that back line. 15, 11. Good awareness from uh, Payupo, leaving that last one. Good fighting spirit got to that attacking shot and left that one just along the back line. So after the mid-game interval, it's actually four all between these two players. But as Payupo came into the interval with a lead of four 16, points, 11. she is in a very commanding position. Again. Service over twelve sixteen. <laughs> Again, successful. 13, on. Keeping the shuttle low, making sure that Payupo has got no really good chances of attacking. Service over 17, 13. 
just four points away from securing a place into the second round of the World Championship and make that just three points away now. pressure in the deep forehand once again and that paid off just shows how important it is sometimes to add the pressure to the same point on the court two or three perhaps even four times in a row that can be a very very good strategy Nineteen fourteen. Yeah, good, good body smash from Paiu Po. Twenty match point. Which 14. brings up match point at 20, match point 14. After 36 minutes of play. Lucky net court. Service over. 15-20. Which so far brings up that symmetry in the scores. Spinning that shot from Tepta. That's really well saved. Wonderful save, however, it was not enough. 16, 20. Perfect spinning that shot to finish off that rally. Good pressure from Tepta from Myanmar. Two match points saved so far. But look at this one. That's actually really well saved by Ayubo. Still got to save another four. Yay. But on the third match point for Pai Yupo, she managed match to convert. Pai Yupo, 21-15, 21-16. Safely through to the second round, Pai Yupo of Chinese Taipei with the scores of 21 15, 21 16, and 38 minutes of play. And look at that, that's the match point, perfect position by that last shot. Body smash towards the forehand side. Here we've got the confirmation, 21-15, 21-16. Right. The next match coming up will be a men's doubles and I will be joined by my good colleague Jill Clark and I'm really so much looking forward to it. So well done, Paiupo. Sure, she's very happy, but I want to say that Teta really been improving quite a lot since the Olympics. Great to watch. And the next match coming up is a men's doubles. It's uh, Japan and Ukraine crash, uh, clash, not crash, but clash. <laughs> I do beg your pardon. And I will be joined by my good colleague, Jill Clark.
So welcome back to the Palacio de las Deportes Carolina Marin for the 26th staging of the World Badminton Championships. It's day two of competition, but it's still first round action here in Welva. 